Good morning, everybody. So today is day four in Winnipeg, and we are gonna meet my auntie, Tita Banji, at um, Polo Park. So it might be busy today. It's Sunday, sorry, yeah, it's Sunday, and um, people are probably still Black Friday shopping, so we are ready to go. Good morning, everybody. What are we doing today, Nana? Gonna surprise. Who are we surprising? I don't know. Tita Punchy! Okay, we're gonna go into the car. So right now we're driving. You're not driving. We. Oui. Who's driving? Lola. Mm. Do you know which um, mall we're going to? Pretzel Mall. <laughs> Polo Park. not snowing today because I heard it is snowing in Toronto. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> what I can do with my chin. So basically, we had to park very far because it's so busy, as you can tell, it's super, super packed. Here's Nana. Ooh, what's up, bruh? Ew. Nana's <laughs> <laughs> a little yeah. kitty cat. Yeah. I think I should be hiding behind Lola because Tito Punchy might see me. Oh. Hey, open the door, Nana. Oh, wow, look how beautiful that is. Right, strong, yeah. <laughs> Surprise, you. Good. Looks so pretty. Go there. <laughs> so, we are. It's bigger than me. Yeah, it's big. Too bad we can't go inside. It looks really, really cool. I guess blogging is not really a thing in Winnipeg because everyone's looking at me weirdly. Tita Bungie. Yeah, we can go see Santa too. And um, we're blogging and we're hiding. Where is she? Is she sitting down? <laughs> okay, so, <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice because I eat a lot of sugar. Uh, we just came back from Polo Park and dropping off Vienna and we're on our way to surprise Tito Nelson and Tito Nana at Superstore. <laughs> They're actually doing their groceries. They just went to church and then they went to Superstore and apparently they're going to Lucky's too. But we're going to catch them at Superstore. My mom told them that uh, she was going to give them something <laughs> and uh, we'll meet them there. The real Canadian superstore, and um, we shall surprise my name. uncle and auntie. Is it red? I'm not sure what the car looks like. <laughs> what do you do? Fish? <laughs> 
Okay, so we are about to surprise mm -hmm. my auntie and my uncle, mm -hmm. and they don't know that I came from Toronto, so I'm hiding behind my mom and walking towards them, but I think they could see me. <laughs> they see me! Hello! I know! Merry Christmas! Bye! <laughs> This is my favorite auntie and my favorite auntie. Say hello to my camera. Hello! Hi. <laughs> All the way hello. from Toronto to Winnipeg. Okay, so surprising Tito Nelson and Tito Nana was like half successful. <laughs> Probably not even successful at all because apparently they saw me. They like saw my mom right away. Even, yeah, like they saw my mom right away and then they're like, oh, there's like a, a blondie behind her. Oh, it's Casey. So yeah, didn't really surprise them, but they're happy that I'm home. And I'm um, now at home and I'm excited to eat one of my favorite Filipino dishes. So this is called Sinigang, so it's a beef sinigang. Um, don't mind the pretzel that's on the side there. My mother and I halved it, like halved it, halved, halved it from Polo Park because it's very sweet and a lot of sugary stuff. And uh, I didn't want to get another plate or anything like that. And I am about to watch some Netflix. Peace. Good evening. I don't know why I wave like that. Anyways, uh, welcome back again to my channel. Today is day four in the evening and welcome back to Cassandra's kitchen. So we will be cooking some things special, two special dishes. So we are going to make wild pink salmon fillets and this is wild pacific salmon fillets as well. Um, what we're going to need is oyster sauce, onion powder, lemon pepper, ground black pepper, garlic salt, parsley leaves, a lemon, onion, mayonnaise, mushroom, and this is halal beef strips. And then we need our um, pans and we need butter. We are cooking rice. Sorry about my mom and dad in the background. They're watching the Raptors game. And we will be also using a frying pan, one of those non-sticks. We also need to make sure that the oven is on at 350 so that we can bake the salmon in there. So a few more items that we are also going to need is a strainer. Uh, this non-stick pan, it's a very deep, deep dish, a bowl so that I can mix all the flavors of the salmon in there. And yeah, we'll start cooking. I've chopped up the halal beef strips and we also diced up some onions here, the red onions, and we have our mushrooms. Uh, we set this up. We're going to uh, fry it up in here. Uh, start with the onions, a little bit of butter, and mushrooms. Get them all sauteed, and then we'll add the beef, and then we will add our friendly seasonings. So we just added everything in here. So far, it's just the onions and the big mushrooms, butter, and a saute it up. And then we'll add the beef. Then once we add the beef, we will add some of the seasonings and our secret ingredient is our oyster sauce, which will give it even more flavor, nice, sweet, and savory, and we will see. Okay, as you can see, we have added the beef as well. So we made sure that the onions were browned. Uh, we sauteed the onions. Did I say the onions were browned? I meant to say the mushrooms. <laughs> so now we're gonna go ahead with a cute little panda which is our oyster sauce. And we are going to add that in as our sauce base. Um, I'm not quite sure how to give you the exact measurements because technically 
uh, you eyeball it to see like how much, like a one to one ratio, you know, or like one to two, depending. And right now my heat is at four on the stove. So we'll make sure that gets nice and evened out in there. So now I'm gonna add all the spices and all the flavoring and seasonings. So the more the merrier. Spicing is not just salt and pepper. Spicing is, or spicing, or seasoning, in fact, is adding the parsley flakes, going ahead with your garlic salt. Then, after your garlic salt, adding some onion powder for extra flavoring. Looks like that to go in. Oh, that's why. Not really crushed in there, so okay, we'll try now. Better coming out more now. Okay, and then we will add our um, black, black, bleh. I can't talk right now. Anyways, our black ground pepper. And last but not least, we are going to add our lemon pepper seasoning. I think this is what gives it more flavor, and you'll have a nice little taste of lemony, citrusy goodness. Uh, again. Well, so the flavor subsides. Our rice has also almost cooked, but should be done when we pop in the salmon in the oven. So what we did here is we thaw, thaw, thawed out the salmon, washed them. Then we placed them onto our baking tray with our foil and whatever. We put some mayonnaise and also some oyster sauce as a mixture. We have little lemons cut on around the side that gives it extra flavoring when it does boil, or boil, sorry, when it does bake in the oven. Um, after this, when it's evenly spread throughout, I am now going to add my seasonings. Ta-da! Now it is ready to be popped into the oven. I'm going to turn it this way so that the other one can go right beside it. This space. Yeah. So it's 551. And we'll time it. 45 minutes. So right now I'm just seasoning up the second batch. Let's hope the lemon pepper doesn't give me a hard time again. Seasoning is like a workout. <laughs> and then we also have my garlic salt that we put on the top. And now we also have our onion powder. Hopefully this doesn't give me a hard time either. Looks like it's been good. And now we will pop this second batch in the oven and it's 5.57. So also another. 45 minutes from now. And now we wait. 
Okay, and this is the final products. Uh, the last one I think needs a little bit more time.